the liberals welcome back to before lab and this is a full stack e-commerce development tutorial series and uh, when i started this series i had a vision to uh, make a larger setup larger project so that uh, the project can be scalable and maintainable by different uh, kind of developers uh, and you can code in a team so if you are not so a fan of working with a team and you don't focus on a bigger project setup then i think you this project might not be going to help you a lot but definitely it's going to help you understand lots of basic understanding basic um theory behind laravel and vue.js so you will you will definitely be able to learn a huge amount of things um um, including uh, setting up uh, uh, Laravel and working with the controller out of the default setups and making your own setup. So if you have not subscribed the, uh, this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I will try to cover so many um, as many things as possible in coming days, and I will uh, I will be uh, coming with uh, newer videos, uh, newer topics as well, not just like Laravel. And definitely, I have uh, a very good. Uh, uh, ambition to make different kind of uh, videos on different topic including WordPress, Golang, Python and all those other um, advanced technologies to uh, bring in. So yeah, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and keep subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get the update. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, let's come to the business right now. So here we had a setup here and this setup um, has a uh, fault and let's solve it and let's see what is the fault in here. So we can see that this is um, uh, uh, This is the uh, top menu banner and everything it has been set up in the main app the main default component And in this component we have included everything now the problem is that if we go in um, Any route, let's say it did uh, the route doesn't exist or whatever It will actually show me this the default one because this main app component is always loaded no matter what pages you go and uh, This is the one that loads next loads your pages so this makes uh really annoying so this is not going to be um uh, all this section and all this section is not going to be used in all places for example in login or registrations you know you are not going to need this banner you are not going to need these categories and all those uh stuff so and also the product single page and uh, yeah so i think you understand now that we're not going to need um a banner in every page so how do we make it really good now so now it's a uh, time to jump into the business so it's going to be a little difficult but if you have uh, followed my other videos i really hope you will be able to understand the theory and easiness once you do the setup so um, from the beginning it might seem a little really harder because the setup seems complicated if you do not uh, follow everything from the beginning so i recommend you watch my previous videos and watch these things okay so now let's set up a home page actually instead of uh, coding everything inside the main app let's make a home page actually okay so uh, what we what is the thing that is going to be always in the in all the pages so i suppose the menu will always be in all, almost every page so we are not going to remove that other than this we we're going to remove everything so let's comment it out and we uh, refresh this page then we see okay everything is gone and only the menu has been kept at the top so that's really really nice um, we are uh, separating everything okay now let's create a home page actually now okay and we will be um, taking all those code from here as well that's not the, uh, the one that is not used yet now here we see how our uh, code works we're not going to set up any pages we're not going to set up any uh, big things inside our resources folder only the things that is going to be shared and um, that is going to be default will be uh, placed in the resources folder and everything else that is dedicated to some controllers or dedicated to some apis let's say home page login registrations products single products all those things will be uh, their own mod uh, modules so that different developers can uh, code uh, separately themselves okay so let's start um, from the module so here i had a setup um, an example setup okay and here um, i had an example code here that's uh, called the example controller class and the test method and that's just written something uh, very simple so if i go uh, if i hit this route you will see this is getting hit so if i take you to the controller that's an example controller and it's take you to this page and this take to the to you the service classes or uh, 
service class okay so everything is uh, will be uh, written in here um, whatever the API we write okay so let's forget it now and focus on view just uh, right at the moment okay so here we have an example and we are not going to use this one so for all of the since we are not serving any um, we're serving any pages like home page product page any pages survey we are not serving using Laravel so we can say okay example and prefix it example API so the prefix uh, will work like that the module name first come first a uh, smaller name the module then API and then the uh, actually API name so whenever whenever we hit some APIs and if we see the request um, in the controller sorry in the um a network tab so if we uh, we will be hitting all the route using xhr so if we hit a uh, request next xhr and if we see okay our route is getting hit example and api test so we will be easy, easily understand okay what's going to happen what's going to happen then okay so it's really easy to track down okay uh, because this is important for a bigger application to track down your code and find the exact code that is um, uh, that is uh, that is being hit um, or executed from the front end or any other application code okay now lots of uh, extra talk now let's do the business right now here we have the example module I will just um, duplicate this module if you don't have this plugin just um, search the VS code you should be able to have uh, um, uh, duplicator so I'm uh, writing the new module name is home and I'm replacing all the boilerplate uh, boilerplate codes so here I had an example now I have uh, created another module that's called home and everything else has been replaced uh, with home so if I uh, open the home web.php you see home API then the test okay because it was not the original word it says you see uh, in example web dot php i had an example controller name and now here i have a home controller class though i don't have a home controller yet so i have to make one but i will leave it for now i will be working on vjs for, uh, for now okay so inside home uh inside home and we see a vjs folder or view folder and then we have we have uh, an store so we can uh, work with the store if we w would want to and then we have a router so the router says home router name so we will remove okay well, let's keep this um, uh, router name like that for now and it's uh, actually uh, using home module page and if we see what is the home module page inside and this is the home module page okay so this is um, uh, this is uh, what it is uh, referring or loading as a page so let's uh, copy a lot of code here so that we can see if it's working correctly or not so that's fine now the pro the question the real question is that we have a we have a page here and we have a local route this is a local route router index.js this is definitely local inside modules inside your home module so let's say one of your team member is working on home page okay working on home page so he will be working on the inside module and home page or home domain and inside Vue.js he can set up his pages and then uh, the developer can uh, write his uh, write his own code but the question is that how do the developer set up the route okay so he has a local route this but this route has no users as of yet so how do we use this route um, at all okay so let's see uh, let's use this route and um, from our original router JS so this is inside is our uh, resources folder so we will copy the example route from here so we have copied here and we can instead of example route we can name it as a home route and definitely we can call a reference inside the home module okay so it goes to app then modules you see it goes to app modules home view J uh, and js folder then router then index so it's actually going inside here and then it will be uh, exporting it uh, in this variable then we can actually use it uh, in here so all the routes we have if all the route whatever we write here will now be available in here automatically and then we the this route can be hit easily okay now what is the route name let's check again and if we hit this one this exact route here 
we should be able to see the new page we have written okay so that's really cool whatever the whatever we have written here is not available now if we write something else this is not the um, uh, this is not the case we don't see anything now okay so if we get one go back one step we see all the code that we have here now the interesting part is that now we this is a home page okay now we take all the code from here let's cut the code and inside our home page let's use all the code inside our home page okay so this is our home page we must use the banner and everything else that we have set up that looks nice now one problem is that we have to we are using different components oh, definitely we will be passing data through it so using props or whatever now we need to use them so let's um let's cut the uh not everyone just copy for now and use them here and from here we can remove everything other than the top menu and we can copy the component as well from there um, let's put the uh, component here so th this is not work that will not be working because this is a wrong link because we don't have any shared inside the local um, module um, we don't have any folder so we have to reference back all the way down to the resources folder so that's a little annoying but I think it's all it so we can keep uh, moving okay we need to remove or clean up our code we should not leave code that is not used okay this is one of the BT in Golang um, uh, the language so I tried that and it's it was really awesome so I will coming I will be coming up with uh, more uh, different type of topics actually not in, uh, not only Laravel okay so now let's uh, let com let me comment all the um, uh, okay I don't have to comment it at all so let's try out something here say so we need to go back you see it's suggesting to go to the JS folder so we don't go there and then it's suggesting the view folder here we don't go there then we have example and home module we don't go there as well we go one step more back then we go to the resources folder okay inside the resources folder we have JS and then we have a shared folder actually okay and inside share fo shared folder you have top menu banner and whatever you have already written there so what is the top menu code I am not sure maybe it's called menu but let me just recheck it so it's called menu that's perfect so what we can do here is that we can just copy three more component and we can rename it as this one okay i hope you now understand how it's going to work all together it's really that simple and end of this video uh, in the video description you will be able to get the code uh, updated in the github repo so you should be able to follow it okay okay so everything has been imported correctly I hope uh, let's see if we have any error okay everything seems fine now let's reload this page we should see our home page back again okay awesome that's perfect okay so thank you guys for watching this tutorial in the next video i will be uh creating uh, login and registration pages but maybe i don't have a design really yet so i will try to do it all uh, along before i actually make a tutorial so you should be able to get those login and registration pages as well okay and then um a lot of interesting cool videos coming in please stay with us and uh, don't forget to uh, provide your available feedback and uh, comments and if you don't understand anything you can go ahead in our free group uh, developer uh, development with epiphile app and you can ask your question i will be uh, i will try to help you as much as i can thank you guys for watching have a nice time good day